Hello everybody, welcome back to Be Boss Kitchen. Welcome to those of you who are new to my channel. I would like to ask you if you are not subscribed to my channel, won't you click on the subscription button? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoy the video, leave me a comment, and don't forget to click the notification bell. Today I am making a banana pudding. We are going to my brother-in-law's, Clayton's older brother, this evening. They are having friends get together. They do this every year. Uh, they make bluegrass music. And my husband plays the banjo, so his brother always invites Clayton to come to play with them. So we're going over. They're going to fry fish this evening, and I am going to make this banana pudding. This is your original, old-fashioned, southern banana pudding. I know there are a lot of different versions of banana puddings out there, and I have made some of the others, but this is by far my favorite. As long as I can remember, this recipe has been on the Nilla Vanilla Wafer Box, and I am going to make that to carry tonight. So, I want to get started making this and I want to share this with you in hopes that maybe if you've never made it that you will give it a try as well. I'm going to start by showing you the list of ingredients so let's get this started and here is the list. You will need vanilla wafers, bananas, eggs, sugar, all-purpose flour, milk, salt, and vanilla extract. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and prepare my pudding. You want to use a heavy pot to cook your pudding in, and I like to cook my pudding ahead of time and let it cool to room temperature. The reason being in that is I have discovered in the past if I went ahead and assembled my pudding with the bananas and the cookies and the pudding while the pudding was hot, it made my bananas sort of crunchy. I guess it sort of cooks them, and I don't want it like that. So I like to let mine totally cool. Then I put it all together. So I'm going to start and get this cooked, and when it cools, then we'll put it together, and you can see how easy this is. It's a very easy, easy uh, recipe to make. This is the original banana pudding that was on the Nilla Vanilla Wafer Box. And I have made it for years and years. It is so good. And Clayton absolutely loves banana pudding. So I'm going to get this started so this can get cooled down. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to use this whisk to combine everything. But I'm going to put my sugar and my all-purpose flour. I'm going to whisk this all together really well. Now, I've already separated my eggs, so to your pudding, you're just going to add egg yolks. So, I'm going to go ahead and sort of break those up. Add that to my flours and sugar mixture. And now to this, I'm going to add my milk. And I want to just mix this together. You want to combine it all really well. You don't want any flour left um, unincorporated because if you do, it's going to be lumpy and you don't want your pudding to be lumpy. You can cook this over a double boiler over hot water. I never do that. I just cook it directly on the stove and I just keep an eye. I always stir it constantly, so I'm going to turn my heat on. I want to make sure that the edge around the pot doesn't have any flour. So I'm going to take my spoon and just go around and make sure that there's nothing that my whisk is not getting to. You want to make sure you keep this stirred because if you don't, it will scorch on you. Okay, this is starting to get hot, and as it gets really hot and starts to boil, it will start to thicken. You want to be sure, like I said, to keep this stirred. 
I have my heat turned down to kind of a medium high. I'm going to turn it on down to a medium. And it's starting to thicken. Now this takes just a few minutes. As soon as your mixture comes to boiling, it will start thickening right up. You can see that it's really starting to thicken. Okay, so I'm going to turn my heat off. I will take this off of the heat and I'm going to add a dash of salt to this and my vanilla flavoring. And then I'm going to set this aside and I'm just going to let it cool down and then I will come back and assemble the pudding together. Let's set it off. See how nice and thick that is and creamy. I'm going to do a double helping of salt, which is just a dash per recipe. And since I'm doubling the recipe, I'm going to double that amount. So I want to just stir that in and just a couple of teaspoons of vanilla flavoring. I'm just going to squirt and squirt. And I want to stir that in really well. I will post this recipe below in the description box. And I hope you will give it a try. It is absolutely delicious. Now I prefer this pudding over the one that you make with cream cheese and sour cream. I'm a, not sour cream, but cream cheese and Cool Whip, I believe it is. And it goes in the fridge. But now I like this. This is just the old fashioned. I was raised on this banana pudding and it is so good. So this recipe is really, really old. But okay, that is done. And I'm going to just let it sit, cool, and then we'll be back. Okay, my pudding has cooled to room temperature. And so I am going to assemble this pudding and get it ready to go in the oven when I apply my meringue to brown that. So I'm going to bring the camera over closer so you can see how I assemble this. I'm going to let you take a look. See my, how the pudding looks when it gets cooled? So I'm just going to mix that up to loosen it up. Just like that. Okay, the first thing that I am going to do is to layer the bottom of my dish with vanilla wafers. And I'm going to place, I mean it doesn't matter, but I turn my wafers right side up so that they're flat against the bottom. That's where a little bit of my OCD kicks in. I like for it to, to lay kind of smooth. I am also, because I'm carrying this off for dessert, I am going to do a small, this small container here, I'm going to do to do my taste test. Okay, and I'll work that piece right in there. All right, I'm going to slip this into that little space. Now I'm going to do a layer of my pudding. I'm not going to do it super thick. Just enough to kind of cover everything. Okay, and now slice my bananas up and then place them on the pudding. And now I will do another layer of vanilla wafers. Okay, 
And now I will put more, more pudding. You can if you want to, and I have done this before, is to line the outer part of my container with uh, vanilla wafers. I'm not doing that today. I'm, I may, when I finish up, I don't know, I may add some to the edges. Now I'm going to do, I think, one more layer of vanilla wafers on top, and then I'll put my meringue on top of this. Okay, and now I'll top this off with meringue. I'm not going to add wafers around, but if you wanted to, all you would do is just place them on the side like so, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to whip up my meringue and add this to the top. My egg whites are at room temperature, so I'm going to start whipping them, and then I'll add the sugar while they're beating. I want them to be beaten into stiff egg whites. Okay, I'm going to start adding my sugar. I'm going to drizzle it in while they're beating. And now I'm going to add vanilla. I'm going to add like two teaspoons of vanilla to it. And I want to scrape down my sides because I have particles of sugar. And I want to get that beaten into the egg white. Okay, I'm going to beat them just a little bit longer. That's good. My egg whites are stiffly beaten, as you can see. Okay, I'm going to add this meringue and get this in the oven and get it browned, and I will have this completed. I hope you'll give this recipe a try if you've never made it. It is delicious. Okay, I'm going to pop this in the oven and brown it and then I will be back. Okay, my banana pudding has finished browning and so I'm going to take this out of the oven and as soon as my uh, small pudding finishes browning, I'll do a taste test for you and we'll close this out. So I'll be back shortly. Okay, my individual serving is done. And so I have just brought this out of the oven. And this is what I will do my taste test with. I don't want to dip into that since I'm taking it uh, for our dessert tonight. But this one, I will do a taste test and tell you just how delicious it is. Okay, now for my taste test. Banana pudding, old-fashioned, southern style. Here is to you. Mmm. That is so good. It's still warm from being in the oven, uh, baking the meringue. That is delicious. That is so good. I think banana pudding is one of my absolute favorite desserts. I never get tired of it. I like it when it's freshly made, and it's even good when it sits in the refrigerator. You cannot go wrong. Give it a try. My Pepper is down here begging for her dinner. You want dinner, Pepper? Can you tell the people yes? Hmm? Well, anyway, until the next time, I'm B Boss saying may the Lord bless and keep you and your family safe. And I hope to see you again real soon in another video. Until then, you take care and we'll see you soon. Bye.